Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, September 16th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got one NFL Monday night football game and four MLB games for the Monday slate coming your way. So let me know in the comments below what your MLB NFL picks are for the Monday night football game. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys. All is welcome in the comments below as we got first game up. We'll talk the NFL, 515 PM Pacific kickoff here is it's the Battle of the Birds, the Atlanta Falcons and the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles minus five in the hook as the home favorite, 46 being the total. Of course, Philadelphia coming in, offense looking great in their first game. It was down in Brazil, you know, the international feel. Not sure how much we can take from that game and kind of use it in the next couple weeks. I, I don't think the travel matters all that much in the NFL, but hey, we'll see if they look any different. I mean, the offense, they look great down there in Brazil. Now, there was some field con conditions. Not sure if that helps or hurts the offense. A lot of people think it hurts the, the defense a little bit more, but I mean, their defense had huge questions. So offense looking good for the Eagles, defense giving up more than seven yards per play. They're going to have to improve that here. We got to keep in mind that was on Friday night. They do have extra preparation time. However, the Eagles just one in six after weekday games. So not sure how much that's going to help them on the Atlanta side of things. Of course, their quarterback uh, cousins, you know, out the gate did not look good in week one, but it was his first game since last year in October. So maybe getting some of the rust out. They have an interesting kind of quarterback situation, getting cousins, then also drafting, you know, uh, uh, a first round quarterback. So that kind of puts some heat on them. Um, having that first rounder just last year behind them. I actually come back to, I think cousins is going to improve here and week two in the NFL is a huge overreaction week. Like, Oh, you know, the world's ending on the Falcon side of things. I don't think so. I mean, sidewise, I don't love this one guys, especially at five and a hook. If it does jump up here by game time, I'm actually doing the video here in the 7 a.m. Pacific hour right now on Monday morning, and it's five and a hook. I don't think it's enough to jump on the Falcons, but I do think it correlates a little bit here with uh, the Monday night total. It's 46 flat right now. The Atlanta Falcons are 4-0 to the over in week two, the last four years. Philadelphia, of course, last year at home went 7-1 and one to the over. I actually think the Falcons offense improves here, and we know this Philadelphia Eagles offense look good with the defensive questions. I think we get a bunch of points, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets, this gets up into the 50s, maybe one of those alt totals up into the 60s. I think we get a lot of scoring here. So uh, for the first game up, Monday Night Football, we're going up and over 46 in the Battle of Birds, the Falcons and the Eagles. Turning the script here towards the Diamond, we got four MLB games starting off first, 340 Pacific, 640 Eastern. It's the Minnesota Twins. And the Cleveland Guardians battle in the NL Central. Matt Boyd, the lefty going for Cleveland. Pablo Lopez for the Twins. Twins minus 110 favorites, seven and a hook or eight being the total. Cleveland comes in 22 games over 500. The Twins, nine games over 500. But you got to look at the betting splits here, guys. The Twins minus double digit units on the season. They got big name pitchers commanding a big price tag. They've been a losing bet overall in Cleveland, plus 11 units on the season. One of the most profitable teams in baseball. I pay attention to that stuff. They've also won two straight, won five of their last seven, playing some good ball here. Whereas Minnesota comes in losing six of their last nine. Now they do have Lopez on the hill, the 28-year-old Venezuelan sub four ERA, sub four FIP. Although past performance against Cleveland, he took the loss last time out, going five and two thirds, giving up four runs with only two strikeouts. So Cleveland saw him pretty well, hit him around a little bit. And Matt Boyd going for the Guardians here, the 33-year-old out of Oregon State. He only has six starts on the season, getting a late go of it in 2024. But he's been great. 2-1 ERA, no more than one earned run in his last four starts. I actually think uh, the home dog is barking here. We get them plus 100, risk 100 to win 100. It's Cleveland over Minnesota, first MLB game on the card. Heading to the NL Central matchup up next, Paul Skeen's day here, 445 Pacific, 745 Eastern start time. It's the Pirates going with Paul Skeen's. Andre Palante 
on the hill for the Redbirds. Total of seven, Pittsburgh minus 140 road favorites. There's seven games under 500. St. Louis, one game under 500. And Paul Skeens, the number one pick out of LSU. Go tag as we've talked about him a bunch. 2 1 ERA, 151 strikeouts at 120 innings. His stuff's working in MLB. But if you're looking for kind of kinks in the armor here, this is his third time seeing the St. Louis Cardinals. His third time through seeing the Chicago Cubs, the only other team he's seen three times. They did have a better performance against him. And sure enough, Paul Skeens here, his last two starts against the Cubs and the Marlins. I mean, the Fish are one of the worst lineups in baseball. He's now given up 10 hits and five walks his last two starts. So I'm not saying, you know, the world's going to implode on him. But if you are uh, kind of looking for things to go against him, it's starting to show a little bit. Now, it's not showing up in his ERA, plus the fact with Paul Skeens here, you know, they pretty much got a soft 100 pitch count on him. And he's a strikeout guy, so he really only goes five or six innings now. You can go back, you know, the last month, even two. He's not going too deep into games, and it leads into the Pittsburgh Pirates' bullpen. I mean, they're bottom three across all of baseball. They've been awful in the later innings. And their top four arms out of the pin all through yesterday. Bender, one of their best arms, back-to-back -back days. He's likely not available, so these late innings for the Pirates might be rough. Andre Plante, the starter for the Cardinals versus Pittsburgh. This is also his third time seeing the Pirates. He's been great, though. He's really matched Paul Skeens in terms of the numbers, past performance against the lineup you're going to be seeing. He's gone 13 innings, only giving up seven hits and two earned. So that past performance is pretty good. Grabbing a pretty good plus price here on St. Louis. I think this is the side. They got the the big bullpen edge here. It's going to be tough in the early going against Skeens, but the later innings here, guys, if your book offers second half bets, I'd look on uh, the Cardinals here. And for the full game for the show, guys, we're on the Cardinals plus 127, risk 100 to win 127. So the, the home dogs barking early here on the diamond. It's the Cardinals plus 127. Heading to mile high for the next matchup, 540 Pacific, 840 Eastern. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. Third place team in the NL West. First, hey, the bottom of it with the Rocks. Total of 11, minus, a, minus 170. That's the D-backs as the road favorite. They got Merrill Kelly on the hill. He's up against Antonio Sensatella for the Rockies. Now, the Rockies, not a great season overall, but they are just four games under 500 at home. They've been a winning bet at home for the full season, and it sets up schedule-wise good for the Rockies because this is their second series at home, kind of used to uh, the thin air. I like betting on them in that situation, and they just won two of three at home against the Cubs. The problem with betting on the, the Rockies in this one Sensatella, their pitcher, he's coming off the 60-day IL to make his first start. And his minor league numbers weren't great. He gave up 10 runs and 17 innings in double A in the Rockies organization. So I think it's a huge question mark starting pitching-wise for the Rockies. Of course, their bullpen hasn't been good either. And he's up against Merrill Kelly here, who not terrible numbers in Coors Field, not great by any means, but since mid-August, he has over a 6 ERA, 6 FIP, 35 hits and 27 innings. Now he's heading up to the thin air here with an Arizona team overall that's given up 25 runs the last two games to the Brewers. And their bullpen has been taxed. Uh, they've thrown a lot of bullpen arms, obviously given up that many runs. So not sure you, you know how ready they're going to be for this series. If you like series prices, I would look to go on the Rockies, but for this game tonight, guys, Monday night here, I'd go on the over. I think both starters could struggle and both bullpens uh, being taxed and both coming in ranking in the bottom 10 in bullpen metrics by my numbers. I'd go up and over 11 here, guys. I think we get a bunch of runs, runs in bunches, crooked numbers. We're going up and over 11, Diamondbacks and Rockies. Last game up, guys, uh, we're going to be talking the White Sox and the Angels. Degenerate special feel here. But uh, first, check out uh, Premium Picks. If you're interested in them, check them out. Wagertalk.com, Drew Martin's ex expert page. We got a, uh, a bunch of specials up and available, and it's a great time uh, to jump on the all-access. We get college football, NFL, and Major League Baseball. So you get all three sports going right now. Experts page, Drew Martin, Wagertalk. 
Com. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys. Comment below where you agree, where you disagree. Your picks for tonight, for this week, all is welcome. All right, last game on the card. Degenerate special feel here. Two last place teams, the Angels and the White Sox. It is 940 Eastern start time here. Jonathan Cannon going for the White Sox. Reed Detmers for the Halos. Minus 180. That is the Angels as the home favorite. Total of eight. Now, the White Sox, don't look now, guys. Two wins in a row against the Angels. If they get one more, that's called a winning streak. I don't know if they're going to get there, though. 35 and 115 on the season, and they're also just 15 and 57 on the road. This is the first game of a road trip. I think it's too tough to get on the White Sox here. I know they're getting a, a plus price, and Cannon's on the hill. He actually has been one of their better pitchers, the 24-year-old out of Georgia. The former Bulldog, 3-10 and 10 on the season. He does have a high four ERAs and FIP, which for the White Sox rotation is not bad. I just have in my notes here, guys, Reed Detmers, the starter for the Angels, we're looking to bet on him. The 25-year-old out of Louisville, the former Cardinal, 18 strikeouts his last two starts, and that's against the Twins and the Dodgers. So if you're looking for a strikeout prop, I'd look to go on Detmers on his strikeout prop to the over. I haven't fired away on that yet, but I got that in the notes here. He's only got two starts back off of the IL. He's gone six innings, only two earned in both of them. He's bet on right now. I mean, the Angels have lost five straight. They've lost seven of eight. But the one win they did have in this stretch was when Detmers was on the hill. They won his plus 150 dogs. So I think they get it done here, guys. Not going to lay the minus 180. Instead, with the home team on the Angels, minus one run line. That's uh, getting that number down. So it's Angels minus one over the White Sox. In recap, we are on the over in the Rockies, Diamondbacks, a mile high, over of 11. We're on the Redbirds, St. Louis, plus 127 over the Pittsburgh Pirates, baiting Paul Skeens here, going against the grain. We're on another home dog in Cleveland, plus 100 over the Twins. And in Monday Night Football, it is the over in the Battle of Birds, the Falcons and the Eagles. Guys, I am Drew Martin. Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday. We'll be back early on Tuesday. Come back and join us. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.